<sighs> and she's back. We'll make sure the Fallen get the send-off they deserve. To think, so many have to die just to get water. Did you try talking to your commander at Scalding Spear? <sighs> Please, the only thing she'll listen to is the sound of a bow being drawn. About that, wouldn't mind having yours at my side if it ever came to it. I'm just passing through, Draka. Uh, you can't blame me for trying. This is it. Where the Thunderjaw ripped through my squad. I'm sorry, Draka. They were warriors to the end. Someone's alive. By the rocks. Speak sense, soldier. Burrowers. The battle uh. was built to kill hunters. Ha! Ha! I could do this all day. Yes, I the Captain America saying. Uh oh. This is gonna get rough. Dead ravagers around. We can use their cannons.
Gosh damn it! Well, thank you, sir. This'll do. I should check on Draka and that soldier. Fill up like can. Didn't think I was going to make it. You did good, soldier. You're going back home. Thanks to this one. You were the one who refused to leave your people behind. Uh... I know I'm racking up favors here, but, uh... Did you take those hearts back to Arrowhand? We'll be right behind you. Of course. Be careful. With that Thunderjaw heart in hand, we'll get all the water we need. Yep. Thank you, <coughs> Aloy. An honor to greet you. Welcome, Aria. You've returned. Where's Draka? Just a little late, Chaplain. Gained some extra baggage on the way back. She's got the machine hearts, including a Thunder Jaws. You should have seen this flame in the desert. Here. Something to commemorate our heroic victory. A victory indeed. Command will be relieved to hear about this. Get them to Scalding Spear as soon as you can. And tell the Commander how many had to die to get them. Huntress, may I have a word? I heard what you did at the Grove. They say that in addition to your bow and spear, you have a kind of second sight, especially for matters that have to do with the Old Ones. That's one way to put it. So it's true. You've done well by my clan, but our troubles may not be as easily settled as Draka believes. I think your second sight might be just what we need. What exactly is the problem? Not here. Meet me at Scalding Spear. I'll explain everything. I'll see you there when I can. Good. The entire clan might depend on it. <coughs> This isn't over. <laughs> Regala will gather our forces. Move! Why would the wound give less water? Why put guards around the wound? You can't just take away our water! The wound gives less water. Our rations adjust. What's going on? We know the way of the desert! What's stopping us from taking what we want? And now... Oh! 
Anyone else want to complain? We're the Desert Clan. We survive with what we have. Your, uh, commander's not much for hand-holding. That is not our way. Even less so in her case. Shall we? Sure. Can't wait. Every battle brings surprise. She's with me. Drak is not the only one with harsh words for your commander. The desert has bred survival into our clan's blood. We spit at death and charge into battle. Maybe a little too eager. This is definitely based on an African uh, tribe in Africa. I love the influence and inspiration. If you Your look reputation at it has grown since I saw you last. I'm not saying it's racist, but it's generally showing diversity in culture representation. Strike true as the tent. You took down the bulwark, defended the grove, and saved the life of our chief. I'm hoping you've got enough left for one more miracle. What do you need? You will find out soon enough. <laughs> so, this is the outlander that bested Regala. And now she conspires with the dissident Draka? Demanding water does not make one a dissident, Yara doesn't make Draka a commander either. You should advise him of that. Jataka said you needed help. Did he now? Aloy has a unique <laughs> insight into the ways of the Old Ones. She might be able to fix this before it gets out of hand. Get to the point. What is Jataka talking about? There is no water. What do you mean? I mean the wound in the sand, that which provides the clan with the water we need to survive, is completely dry. This water source, Jataka said it's somehow related to the old ones? From what we can tell, whatever water we take, it restores on its own, over time. A few weeks ago it stopped. I ordered rationing, searched for other viable sources, but everything else nearby is tainted one way or another. But why the secrecy? Keeping your people in the dark seems to be making things worse. If the clan knew, my command would be challenged. There's no water, and you're worrying about keeping your command? Think what you want. Between the machines, the storms, and Regala's uprising, I'm the only thing keeping this clan from falling apart. Draka said your clan won't touch Regala. Her grudge is with Chief Hakaro, not me. And I plan to keep it that way, so her troops don't turn on my clan. Besides, if she defeats Hikaru, she deserves to rule. That's the way of the tribe. Draka's people sacrificed a lot to get that water. He thinks you're hoarding it for yourself. The perfect excuse to challenge my command. Like he's always wanted. Of course, he makes it sound very noble. That he only cares about his thirsty people. But all he really wants is to be in charge. And if he was, he'd face the exact same problem I have. Uh -huh. There is simply not enough water to go around. I can't promise anything. But if this wound was built by the old ones, I might be able to fix it. How exactly do you intend to do that? Just show her the wound, Yara. Very well. You can tell me when we get there. After you. Oh, okay. The wound in the sand is this way. You're not Karja. We're Osiram. I was born amongst the Nora, as far east as you are west. I've heard of your people. They say only those who are exiled leave your lands. There are exceptions what business does a nora exception have in the west believe it or not to help people even the ones who don't want it sounds like a difficult path so i asked the chaplain the other day how did the ten fly in their metal wings did they tame machines like the rebels do here i come are you showing off hello 
This is it. The wound in the sand. Definitely built by the old ones. Focus should show me more. There walks the Karo's champion. Pipes. Leading outside the settlement. What do you see? A trail. I, I doubt you'll find turn anything off my to fix this for a there. while. I can follow the pipe's general direction now. I can always check the trail with my focus. Make sure I'm still on track. But what are you doing? Your wound leads underground. Oh. But it's too narrow for anyone to reach the bottom. Maybe where are you going? Here, your weapon. I think I can lead us to where the water comes from. Or well, used to. How? Doesn't matter. What matters is that the wound is fixed and my people survive. Lead the way. Machines. I don't think I need my focus right now. Should be easy to keep going in this general direction. I can always check the trail with my focus further ahead. Data to override that machine might be in another cauldron. I'm in trouble! I can see why Draka wanted your help in gutting his machines. Thanks. Where to now? Your wound has veins that spread underneath the sand. I'm just following their trail. Not to another machine ambush, I hope. 
Believe it or not, I have better things to do than try to kill you. I should check where the pipes are headed with my focus. Pipe goes past that ridge. We're gonna have to do some climbing. Nothing we can't handle, I'm sure. There's a lot of machines. And a very dead soldier. Is it one of yours? I need to take a closer look. We need to get rid of the machines first. Follow my lead. I'll ride that. I wonder if there's another cauldron that could teach me. to fight! No shots left. Looks like a fucking hippo. know him? That is one of Draka's men. I will cut off that dissident's head and feed it to the vultures if he had anything to do with- We don't know what happened here yet, and we still have a trail to follow. Lead the way.
Hmm. Okay. Water. Barely a lick's worth. But there are no streams in this area. These anchors. That soldier must have used them to get up this cliff. He must have been going back to Arrowhand when those machines got him. Maybe he found something up there worth reporting back about. We'll find out soon enough. I bet this green channel will fetch a price. What is this? The problem. I'm gonna need my focus. That weapon. Looks like Draka's man tried to pry this open, but he didn't know what he was doing. And now the water's not going where it's supposed to. Sabotage. Or ignorance. Maybe if I follow that main pipe, I'll find something useful. I don't think this is gonna do anything. The water is still leaking. I gotta try something else. Was that supposed to do anything? I guess not. What do you need me to do? Just, uh, stay here. Let me know if anything changes. I'm gonna take a look around. Hey! It stopped leaking! It looks like that stopped the water flow. Now I just need to find a way to get it to Scalding Spear. That's the same type of machinery we found outside. Only this one's not leaking. Maybe it can help me switch the water flow. Good! That should do it. This will return water to Scalding Spear? Checking the wound is the only way to be sure. Draka knew what would happen if the capital was left without water, but he didn't care! All he wanted was to cause a crisis so he could challenge my command! Look, we don't know that for sure. Meet me back at the wound when you can. Please, to make sure the water will flow. I will. Don't All do right. anything rash. 
about Draka? Only an upstart acts rashly. A commander bides her time. <coughs> hey. The desert was kind to lead you to us. How could you let this happen? How did I let this happen? You're the one who sabotaged the wound in the first place. You're lucky we were able to fix it, or your head would already be on a spear. You call that fixed? It's just a dribble. And it's not my fault. I already told you, Ukta came to me. He said he found something in the desert that might get us water. I had no idea it had anything to do with the wound. And you expect me to believe that? Aloy, I came for the water that was owed to us, and when I found out that there is no water, they arrested me. As I already told you, the water is returning, but slowly. It'll be weeks before the wound is full again. Until then, I will send Arrowhand what I can. You hid what happened to the wound. How can we believe you now? Draka. No, you know what? Enough of this! No more words! <laughs> Consider that a challenge! <laughs> Gather your squads, then, and meet us at the Gate of the Vanquished. I have a challenge to prepare for. Okay. Leave me. This will be the end of the clan. I have to stop it. We have to stop it. Hold on a second. Help me understand. What do you mean, the end of the clan? Both sides will take their most loyal squads to the Gate of the Vanquished. Then they'll butcher each other as part of a ritual oh challenge. Oh gosh. But it won't stop there. Whoever wins will try to wipe out the loser's loyalists all over the desert. The fighting could last for months. Those two scabheads are going to doom us all. Can't you stop them? I'm a chaplain. I provide counsel. I cannot force them to heed it. Even Chief Akaro can't intervene. It is a matter for the clan alone. What is this gate? The doorway to a dead cauldron. A symbol of what the tribe aspires to. The defeat of deranged machines. Dead. What shut it off? No one knows. Hmm. But it is a place of great significance for our clan. Even greater now, since it will mark the onslaught of a massacre. Mm -hmm. What makes you think I can help you stop them? I'm not even from this tribe. They both owe you a debt. You aided them when no one else could. And you've seen into their hearts, just like I have. Misguided in different ways, but no less worthy of the people they protect. Your words might be enough to spear some sense into them. Yeah, well, they're not exactly good listeners. And you are no ordinary speaker. You took down the unyielding bulwark, fought off an assault of Regala's machines. I will go to the Gate of the Vanquished, southwest of here, to stall them. But without you... I'm afraid we'll run out of body bags fast. Oh gosh. That's a lot of angry to knock. Drunk and Yara are already here. You're their commander. You can stop this. You're here. Ah, <sighs> the hero of the cool roots. Aloy, did you come to witness the challenge? Does there have to be a challenge? Oh yeah, there does. If you persist, all of these squads will join the fights. How many will die here? And how many will die in our villages once the retaliation begins? There has to be another way. Listen to what she has to say. You both owe her that much. Yara, do you really need to do this? He sabotaged the wound. You can't tell me you believe he knew nothing about it. And it was all part of his plan to force a confrontation. Don't you see? This is what he's wanted all along. It doesn't matter how many die as long as he gets what he wants. Command of the clan. No. I'm putting an end to this. Now! Draka. 
You lost a lot of good people hunting machine hearts to trade for water. You want to lose more now? But that cost is exactly why I'm doing this. Why I had to send people to find other sources in the first place. I swear to you, I had nothing to do with what happened to the wound. Ukta came to me, said he found underground leaks that might lead to another well. That's all. I didn't tell him to screw it all up and drain the wound. So stand down so we can all talk about this. No! No more talking, no more lies. Yara can't be trusted. That's been proven. Is this how you two plan to save your clan? By causing a massacre over who gives the orders? Drop this foolishness and work together. She's right. Put away your spears. Return to your homes. Which means she stays in charge? Forget it! You see? Replacing me is all he cares about. It's a vendetta. And it has oh, to boy. end here. Not for once we agree! Pick a side, Aloy. Because we're settling this now. There must be a way to minimize the bloodshed. The Tanakh never make things easy, do they? I'm afraid not. Becoming commander isn't going to change what happened to the wound, Draka. If you really wanted to help your people, you wouldn't be throwing away more lives just to change who gives the orders. You really are something, Flame of the Desert. But I didn't come all this way to let things stay the way they are. Then fight us. Just us. You want to save lives? Keep your squads out of it. I've seen how you fight. These soldiers are with me. Then we stand with Aloy and Yara. Even numbers. <sighs> Fine, old man. It's your funeral. New rules! We're keeping it to just us. Winner takes command. Nice knowing you, Aloy. Oh, boy. Enjoy the quiet while it lasts. You should have backed down when you had the chance, Draco. Barely a scratch. Death comes for you. Honor. Hey, Ratchet. This will not be my end, but yours. Good day. 
In the <laughs> Barely felt that. Got him. Yes. It's over, Draka. <laughs> Not just yet. You did your oh, best no. to follow the path. You die with honor. Did he really have to die? Is that their way? Did it have to end like that? It's the way of the desert. <sighs> well, what happens now? We live off the water the wound ekes out, rationing until it fills back up. And I'll make sure Arrowhand gets its fair share. Yeah, you'd better. The desert never forgets. And I won't either. How you've helped us, I mean. I give this to you now, for all you've done for this clan. Gemini. Or the gate of the vanquished to the Danakth. I'll be back here soon enough to capture Hephaestus. 